In this video, we will talk about 16 Muslim scientists whose discoveries and inventions changed the world. In fact, Islam has a rich history of scientific achievements and has for many centuries made important contributions to science and technology. If we look at Muslim civilization, especially during its golden age, we find that it contributed much to the world in multiple fields including art, architecture, math, medicine, astronomy, physics, geography, literature, philosophy, and so on. The necessity of preserving the Quran and the traditions awakened the spirit of collecting such writings in various forms, which paved the way for the establishment of the earliest and biggest libraries in the world. The mosques which, during the early decades of Islam, formed the nerve centers of all political, social, religious, and educational activities, housed valuable libraries comprising books on religion, philosophy and science. The Quran, which forms the foundation of Islamic teachings, emphasizes the pursuit of knowledge, and this instruction led Muslim scholars to make incredible scientific contributions in the Muslim world, developing what we call today modern science. Here are 16 Muslim scientists without whom modern science would never exist. Ibn Sina. Born in Iran, he is known as Avicenna in the West, during his time, Ibn Sina was the most eminent philosopher and physician in the Muslim world. He is the father of modern medicine. Ibn Khaldun, born in Tunisia, he is the father of sociology and economics and pioneered the study of consumption, demand and utility. His ideas on social solidarity, collective consciousness and social change are reflected in modern sociology. His most well-known theory is Asabiya or social cohesion which binds groups together through a common language, culture, and code of behavior. Nasser al-Din al-Tusi. Apart from his many contributions to astronomy, philosophy, and biology, this Iranian mathematician is considered the father of trigonometry. Ibn Hazm al-Andalus. He was a jurist, theologian, philosopher, and author of one of the first Muslim works on comparative religion. Al-Andalus proved that the earth was round, 500 years before Galileo made his discovery. Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. Born in Iraq, this great mathematician and astronomer invented algebra. Thanks to his work, we saw the birth of modern astronomy. Hassan ibn al-Haytham. Known as al-Hazin in the West, he was born in Egypt. Among his many contributions to science, he developed modern optics. He was the first scientist to give a correct explanation of how vision works. Abbas ibn Firnas. This 9th century Muslim engineer born in Andalus is considered to be the first human to fly with the help of a pair of wings built by silk, wood, and real feathers. He designed this machine hundreds of years before da Vinci drew plans of his own. Ahmad al-Biruni. This Iranian astronomer, mathematician, and philosopher was the first able to obtain a simple formula for measuring the Earth's radius at 6,339.6 kilometers, a value not obtained in the West until the 16th century. His work on density was influential and used by scientists like Galileo and Newton. Abu Bakr al-Razi. Born in Iran, he is considered the father of pediatrics. Having written more than 224 books in medicine, philosophy, and alchemy, al-Razi greatly influenced human civilization particularly in Europe. His most important work is the medical encyclopedia known as Kitab al-Hawi fil Tib. This incredible book, which is still useful today, is known in Europe as The Continens Liber, or The Virtuous Life. Ibn Rushdi, commonly known as Averroes, was born in Andalus. This great philosopher is the father of free thought. In medicine, he was the first to describe symptoms of Parkinson's disease, the first to explain the causes of stroke and the first to discover the retina's photoreceptor function. He was also one of the first to prescribe treatments for urological illnesses. Ibn al-Nafis. This physician from Egypt was the first to describe the pulmonary circulation of the blood. He is the father of cardiovascular physiology. He was the first to challenge the theory that blood could pass from the right to the left side of the heart through the interventricular septum. Jabir ibn al hayyan from Iraq. He is the father of chemistry. He also discovered hydrochloric acid. He pioneered techniques like distillation, crystallization, sublimation, and filtration, which are still used today. Abdul Qasim al-Zahrawi. Born in Egypt, he is the father of surgery. He also invented more than 200 tools used in surgery. 
His work has had a great influence in Europe, where many of his tools are still used today. Muhammad Ali Drisi. He was an Arab geographer and cartographer. He was the first to draw the world map known as the Tabula Rogeriana, which remained the most accurate world map used by travelers around the world for three centuries. Abu Nasr al-Farabi. This Islamic philosopher and music theorist born in Kazakhstan is the father of Neoplatonism. He was known as the second teacher in philosophy, with Aristotle as the first teacher. He also founded the Islamic political philosophy. Last but not least, Ibn Abbas al-Majusi from Iran. He described how the physiological and psychological aspects of a patient can have an effect on one another in his complete book of the medical art. He is considered the father of human physiology. In conclusion, these are some of many Muslim scientists who have made tremendous contribution to mankind and paved the way for the development of science and technology as we know it today. The various Quranic verses and hadith which place value on education and emphasize the importance of acquiring knowledge played a vital role in encouraging these great men in their search for knowledge and the development of the body of science. Allah says, Allah himself is a witness that there is no God worthy of worship except him, and so are the angels and people of knowledge. And in another verse, knowledge is emphasized as a way to protect oneself against evil. The world should not forget these people, without whom science would not be what it is today. Don't hesitate to share your point of view in the comment section. Thank you for your time. Assalamu alaikum.